Now remember for the vascularization that we see here in the lungs, the pulmonary arteries are going to be colored blue because the pulmonary arteries will be bringing deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lung. The pulmonary arteries are then going to branch off to form pulmonary arterioles and the arterioles will branch again to form the smallest blood vessels, which are the capillaries. The arterial capillaries are shown in blue, and the venous capillaries are shown in red. Now here is our trachea, which will be covered with the cartilaginous rings. The trachea bifurcates to form the right primary bronchus and the left primary bronchus. So these are the primary bronchi. These will branch again to form the secondary and tertiary bronchi, and these will continue to branch to smaller airways called bronchioles, and the bronchioles are going to terminate in these alveoli. Now each one of these circular structures here is an alveolar sac. The alveolar sacs are going to be covered with capillary beds. The capillary beds are going to surround the alveoli and gas exchange is going to occur between the red blood cells in the capillaries and the alveoli. The wall of the alveoli is only one cell layer thick and the capillaries have blood vessel walls that are only one cell layer thick as well. In both cases, this would be simple squamous epithelium and this is important to allow for gas exchange. The alveoli are organized somewhat like a bunch of grapes. Here we can see that I have this section cut open so we can see a cross section and this is revealing an alveolar duct. So an alveolar duct will be connected to many alveoli and will be the passage for air. Once gas exchange occurs between the alveoli and the red blood cells in the capillaries, that blood is now oxygenated and will return to the heart. That oxygenated blood that is in the capillaries is then going to travel back to the heart through venules. The venules will merge together to form veins and the pulmonary veins are going to return that oxygenated blood to the heart so that it can get another push so that that blood can deliver that oxygen to the cells of the body through the systemic circuit.